Okay, well, I'm going to keep you talking, Paul, because the next question is coming to you. I have two properties that I bought for cash, one of which is my primary residence and one is a flat I rent out. I've just taken a buy-to-let mortgage on the flat and wonder what's the best way forward to building my property portfolio. Do I buy one property with that money and then mortgage it again, or do I use that money to buy two properties, putting down a 20% deposit and get two mortgages? Okay, good question. And similar to the point I made on the last question, mm -hmm. um, or the one before it, uh, was utilise mortgages as much as you can. Okay. Um, I think a lot of people's mind, they struggle to separate the difference between good debt and bad debt. Mm -hmm. You know, bad debt is your, your home loan, your credit cards, your car loan, it improves your lifestyle, but it hurts your finances. Whereas good debt is investment debt. It helps you better utilise your money. It's generally tax deductible. Um, and you know, especially when it comes to property, it's, it's the differentiating factor between property and other investment options. As a cash buyer, property returns are quite similar to shares, for example. But with leverage, nothing really touches property. No. You know, the fact that you can get 20, 30% returns on your cash per annum, your cash invested, by using mortgages, whilst only achieving relatively average returns on the asset, is pretty incredible, in, in my opinion. So for this person particularly, utilise as much of that you know, investment debt as they can. So I think they, they gave two options as well, whether to buy essentially with the cash they release mm -hmm. or whether to take mortgages on two. I'd say you're better off taking mortgages on two. Something they didn't mention was it sounds like their home is debt free as well. They could also look to, to utilise some yeah. equity within the home and they could do four or five. Yeah. So you know, don't go crazy all at once, but <laughs> seek advice. The fact that you can borrow at two or three percent and achieve you know, returns of far, far greater than that <clears throat> means that you should have borrowings. Well, most people should have borrowings, in my opinion, unless you're already very wealthy. Fantastic, yeah. Thank you. Brilliant advice there.